is February the 4th, 2020. I'm doing this video to follow up with my last video where I talk about uh, fuel trim. I just installed the 363cc uh, injectors in this 2005 Mini Cooper S R53 model. And the car has been running beautiful with these injectors. But I just want to show you what kind of values I'm getting. Uh, because, you know, the stock ECU is able to compensate plus or minus 20%. Uh, you know to make up for any differences that it detects when it's reading you know uh, the oxygen levels from the O2 sensor that way it gets the engine running back at its optimal performance and ideal conditions so um, I just want to pull up the values on that uh, and we can cross reference that with uh, a chart that I came across online uh, of course, it converts the voltage of the narrowband O2 sensors uh, to air fuel ratio. That's not 100% accurate because the value of the voltage will vary with the temperature uh, uh, on the exhaust gases. So uh, let's go ahead and start the car and let me show you uh, this OBD2 scanner that I'm using to get the values on there. Okay, as you can see, I don't have any code stored here. Uh, that's a good sign. I've been driving this car for about three days already and I don't have any codes. So let's pull up live data. Okay, and uh, here's the uh, short term uh, fuel trim. Right now it's taking away a little bit of fuel. Um, long term fuel trim is right here. Uh, over the course it adds about 5% uh, more duty cycle uh, to provide enough fuel uh, for the running condition of the vehicle and, and a little bit about my mods that I have on the vehicle right now I have the 17% Alta supercharger pulley and I also have a lightweight 0% crank pulley and that's pretty much it so it's just making more boost really it's only making about uh, 15 psi give or take boost now versus I think the stock is about 10 psi the engine is kind of cold right now uh, outside temperature is also a little bit cold it's 52 degrees um, I am at sea level just a little bit of background for you guys there uh, here's the screen that I'm interested in as you can see some of the values Throttle uh, position percentage uh, right now it's about 11% open. Um, this is the O2 sensor. I think this is before the catalytic converter. I think, um, and this one is after the catalytic converter. Uh, I'm interested in the one after the catalytic converter because it will give me the final value, and it will tell me whether or not. Uh, I'm running rich or lean throughout the rev range so we'll go ahead and leave it there you guys can look at that value I'm gonna try to drive the car off right now and see if I can uh, maybe give it um, some good throttle I'm gonna try to see if I can get at least above 50% throttle um, and you guys can see what kind of voltage I'm getting from the O2 sensor and we can cross reference that on the chart to see what the air fuel ratio is. So let's go ahead and do that. Sorry if the video is really shaky here using a really uh, cheap tripod that's just strapped onto my chair with one of those ratcheting straps. All right.
up some other values here. I don't know how we got that out the way. Let's see what's going on here with uh, boost pressure and uh, long-term fuel trim. Right now it's adding about 7% more fuel trim. Okay, so a couple of things when I did that pull. I got an EML light that just came on and also my check engine light just came on. Okay, so just did a couple of little pulls there for you guys. Uh, I hope you're able to see something on it. I know that the camera is shaking a lot, but uh, maybe you guys can pause or I can actually just slow down the frames for you. I'll probably repost the uh, video in slow mo so that way you guys can see what's going on. But you know what? Main thing is, I just got a check engine light and an EML light that popped up uh, when I did that first pull. I want to find out why so we can probably see if we can go up here and read the codes. Let's see here, pending codes, do we have any? Oh, what's going on here? It wants me to select the vehicle manufacturer. Why does it want me to do that? That's kind of strange. It should have automatically pulled up. O2 sensor, bank one, sensor one. Uh, the values were a little bit off. It's like I said, it was probably reading some values that were kind of strange to it because like I said, with the 17% pulley, it is gonna change your air fuel ratio. And the ECU has to compensate for that, plus or minus 20% with the fuel trim. So maybe when I gave it that hard throttle, maybe, uh, there wasn't enough room to compensate and it threw a code. The code I'm getting is P0130. O2 sensor circuit bag one sensor one. That's probably the one. I don't know which one that is really. I gotta check it out. Um, I'm guessing that's the one before the cat. But it's kind of strange because that one just kind of fluctuates between 0 0.05 volts and 0.8 volts. Uh, yeah, I really don't know what's going on, why it's giving me that. Stored codes. I have a stored code, P1498. DTC definition not found. So, does not know what this code is. I could probably find out doing a Google search what that code means. It's probably related to uh, the oxygen sensor code because my car had no codes prior to that as you can see from the beginning of the video. But yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, find out what's going on there. But just to 
recap overall just driving normally the car drives very well drives very smooth and I did have a slight misfire at one point around 3,500 rpm uh, the first day when I gave it about 40% throttle but now it doesn't really seem to do it as much I think the ECU is kind of adapted to that but uh, the boost pressure seems to be quite high I'm getting here from the 17% pulley the map sensor was reading a spike of about 160 kilopascals and last time I checked about 106 or 108 kilopascals it was almost near 15 psi so I'm kind of curious to know what 160 kilopascals translates to because I think that's awfully high and if that's the case I may need to upgrade maybe to those 380cc injectors if I can find something that has that injector in it. Alright you guys, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you found this video interesting at the very least. Helpful to you. Please do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions or any thoughts, just drop me a line down below. If you guys like what you guys see, Please hit the subscribe button. I do post videos from time to time about different kinds of car tech and car repair. So you should be seeing another video coming up soon regarding this Mini Cooper because I'm not quite done doing the mods on it yet. Alright you guys, take care. Have a good day. Just wanted to show you guys uh, cruising down the freeway about 60 miles an hour getting about 0.725 for the voltage on that O2 sensor so we can go ahead and uh, compare that and see roughly what kind of air fuel ratio that translates to